Welcome, my lovely lilies, to the Shikawan Totob, the nation of the four winds. Please sit by the fire, for today we have a brand new entry to the nation. Finding a hurt angel. It was a late April evening when he found her in the woods, a mile from his cabin. She was lying in the field, one of her two huge wings clearly broken. His eyes widened as he approached, seeing how her wings, her entire body, glowed. As he approached, he could hear her mutter in pain, in a language that sounded so sweet and so beautiful, yet was utterly incomprehensible. It took him an hour to get her home. He laid her on the guest bed, stomach down, and did what he could to bandage her many cuts and wounds, gold yellow liquid seeping out. Was it blood? He was cooking her soup when she awoke the next morning, smiling with joyful tears falling down. She, in English, and a voice too beautiful to truly comprehend, thanked him. On behalf of heaven, she thanked him. He shrugged. He was only doing what a good Samaritan would have done. She didn't leave then. She couldn't. She was far too weak. So they bonded. He fed her a fair bit, trying to get her strength up, and they talked over his dining table. She learned that he had been out here in the woods for the past six years. Society hadn't been good to him, an orphan and a vagrant his whole life. He'd grown to despise human society, and society felt the same way toward him. It was all right, he said. He had everything he ever needed here. Besides, he left his old life behind, back in the city, and he didn't like to talk about it. She told him God loved him, and he always had been loved. He listened, but didn't. He just fed her and nursed her back to health. Eventually, he started to feel things for her. She was truly lovely and truly divine, with her long, slightly curled golden hair and her brightly lit eyes that dripped with love. He almost began to reconsider his plan. Almost. The day she stepped outside, stretched her wings, and readied for takeoff, was when he smashed her in the back of the head with a hammer making her drop like a rag doll. It wasn't difficult cutting her up. Really, it was no different from all the other people he had done it to. Though he was not disappointed when he bit into the first batch of cooked meat. It was amazing. He never thought that this could exist. Human meat was nothing compared to this. Nothing. Hours later, he was finished eating, and a month later, he had eaten up all the meat he cooked of her. Hanging her wing bones up on his wall as a trophy, he looked on them with pride. Yes, he left his old life behind, but something, Providence, had given him this delightful treat where he could refresh his old activities. For the rest of his life, he never forgot the taste of angel meat.